black and white network fans. We are back with another video and boy, we're going to be talking about Joe Biden because I believe folks, when the Democrats lose black people, they lose power. And just maybe some black people are starting to wake up as they're seeing that Joe Biden is an absolute disaster as the occupier of the Oval Office. And I believe that the uh, the black church, the black pastors have a lot of influence over black people. And we're going to react to this one black pastor that has come out and destroyed Joe Biden. And we need more people like him to actually speak up because their voice is powerful. OK, so let's dive into it, guys. This is a pretty lengthy video here, but let's go ahead and react to this right now. And he starts off. No holes barred. OK, here we go. Our nation is, is gone mad. I hope y'all like y'all's president. See, he, he, he's just starting right off the money. I hope y'all like y'all's president. You notice he didn't say his president or our president. He said your president. Because in a year's time, he screwed the whole nation up. I told you, I don't care how many blind eyes open if I say something like that. When my blind eye, I'm out of here. He must be a Republican. <laughs> it only took that man one year to screw the whole country up. A year. Well, I would actually say uh, shorter than a year, actually. I mean, going back to Afghanistan. Wow. Wow. But a lot of those people in the audience laughing. They voted for Joe Biden. No doubt about it. Here. Don't be, don't be looking at me like, no, the, our nation's gone backwards. Come on, a year ago, you would pay them $2 a gallon for gas. Yeah, let's take it where you can relate. Amen. And you're paying almost $4 now because of his decisions. Yeah, it's his Amen. decisions. Yep. Two million people have crossed our borders uh, from Mexico. Uh, now he getting political. No, kingdom. I'm kingdom. Screw it up. You got, and these people coming in, don't get, they don't get COVID tests. And they aren't forced to get vaccinated. And they put on airplanes, read your paper. No, they ain't going to put this in, in your paper. They don't report yep. this. But they are flying people who cross the border illegally. Your government is flying them to cities across the United States and putting them up in hotels and paying for them with your money. Yes, sir. Only took a year to screw the country up. Just took a year. Y'all miss Trump took yet? A year. Yeah, he must be a Trump supporter. No, I believe. Yep. In a year's time, men who say they women are competing on the college level in women's sports. And depriving women who have been working all their lives to be the best woman in their sport, the ability to be that because this man won't be a girl now. And in case you guys haven't been following, he's actually talking about um, uh, Leah Thomas. We've actually been covering that on the uh, sports channel, a biological man that decided they want to be a woman. And as a man. Uh, Leah Thomas was named uh, Will Thomas and won no slouch second team all Ivy League and now has crushed the competition in the Ivy League. A year. One. I got here by introducing the fact that the world is beat. Satan has released a spirit of deception. He has released it. Black folks don't like me talking about this. 
They can't stand it when I talk about it. It was all I could do when the congressman came here. Now, I told somebody to tell that man. Now, I'm going to let you speak, but don't you get up here talking about politics. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that the Voting Rights Act is passed. It was all I could do. And the Holy Spirit checked me because I was coming up. I was going to straighten that dude out. Because you, <laughs> you, you ain't telling folks the truth. This government has people believing that people are deprived of the opportunity to vote. We talked about that. Oh, they're saying these red states is trying to keep our people from voting. Hogwash! You should have identification to vote. You shouldn't yes, just you be should. able to vote without being identified as a citizen and a resident of the area that you live in. It's wrong. Amen. We're going to get that voting right. We're going to forcefully advance. I'm just sitting in my chair. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell people the truth. They ain't giving people opportunity to vote. You look at the states who pass these laws that are considered racist. They have more polling sites, longer voting hours. Get quiet yep, on true. It. It's okay. You shall know the truth. and the truth. shall set you free. Because see, if we don't require people to have valid identification, anybody can vote. And if we give That's them what some the Democrats money, want. if we keep giving out free money, Ain't no way them people going to want us out of office. I'm for truth. I ain't for nonsense. I ain't a brainwashed Negro. God gave me a brain. And I'm not a sheep. Amen. Amen. And they telling Amen. you to do one thing and they doing something different. Yep. If you watch the Super Bowl, California got strictest uh, uh, oh, here we go. restrictions like mass mandates for indoors. None of the celebrities had on masks. Government, the governor of California almost a year ago, that dude was out when during real tough times of COVID. He was out at a fancy restaurant. With all his buddies, didn't have on a mask. But yep. you better Dictator wear one. Dictator Gavin Newsom. Yep. Because He's we right think on the money. for you. We think for you. You ain't smart enough to think for yourself. So that, that's uh, six minutes and 50 seconds, man. You have heard a lot. This guy has come out and crushed Joe Biden and the Democrats because they think black people are stupid. And his congregation is clapping and supporting him. But I know that just based on the pure numbers, man, that uh, that probably 90 percent of his congregation voted for Joe Biden. But hopefully these people have waken up to the lies of Joe Biden. And I'm so glad that this black pastor has exposed Joe Biden for the liar that he is. And these Democrats, he talked about the mass mandates. The voting thing, I'm so glad that he brought that up because we've actually talked about on it that on this uh, channel here. The Democrats are lying about um, red states and uh, these uh, voting bills that they, they pass. Extended hours, we got that in Texas. Delaware doesn't have it. ID to vote. An overwhelming majority of people, including black people, over 75% of black people believe you should actually have to show your ID to vote. And you should. You absolutely should. Now, the other day, folks, I got in a car wreck. I'm in a rental car right now. This uh, car uh, hit me. It was uh, actually a black guy, by the way. Of course, I'm black, too. And the police officer came over. 
white cop, by the way, nice lady. She asked for our IDs. And guess what? We all could provide provide identification. The other guy had insurance, too. I did as well. She took down our information, gave us our IDs back. You need an identification to function in society. If you need ID for that, why shouldn't you be able to show ID to vote? Joe Biden and um, these Democrats need to answer about that. They do. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. What do you guys think of this black pastor annihilating Joe Biden? Absolutely destroying him. I love every minute of this. Maybe his congregation who voted for this man will wake up and not make that same mistake in the midterms and in the 2024 election. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.